The last one of our constructions is a kite. As we know, a kite is two sets of adjacent congruent sides. As a result, we need to produce one pair of congruent sides and a different pair of congruent sides. We're going to begin a lot like we did with our rhombus. We're going to produce an angle of any sort. And now I'm going to ensure that these two sides are the same length. By making an arc, it establishes that this length and this length are the same. If I wanted to make it into a rhombus, I would carry that same distance over here and over here. I specifically don't want a rhombus. I want a kite where those sides are not congruent. So I'll just open it up larger for the second set of sides. If I now connect those points, point of intersection with my other points of intersection, the endpoints of my other congruent sides, I end up with a kite where these two are congruent and these two are congruent. Another alternative for that kite would be to recognize the feature of perpendicular bisect, perpendicular diagonal, excuse me. So I'll begin with a segment, construct the perpendicular diagonal to that segment, I know that my kite must exist with endpoints somewhere along that perpendicular diagonal, perpendicular bisector. I can choose a point. You'll remember when we wanted to construct a, a rhombus, we can choose the two endpoints of the football because those are equidistant, thus making this a rhombus. If we want to construct a kite instead, which is specifically explicitly not a rhombus, we can do half of it the way we did a rhombus, but the other half we must choose a point other than this. That's pretty clearly other than that. That produces a kite.